guys, here with Harry. We're going to talk about proprioception uh, today. Uh, if you're unaware of what that is, it's the body's awareness of their individual leg placement. Um, and a lot of dogs don't realise that they have a uh, back end, they just think that it just follows when they walk. So we're going to do um, some tub work today. Now Harry hasn't done this before. We've got different size tubs. So we're going to start with this one. And all we're going to do, this is a calm behaviour. So we want the dogs to be nice and calm. Um, Harry's not clicker trained. Um, so I'm just going to use the verbal yes, good boy, and reward. So I'm still going to uh, charge him up. Yes, 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 good boy. All right, I'm gonna send him out. Okay, I've got the tub in front of me. So I'm gonna reward in the tub. Um, same like, you know, when we're doing our coits and things like that, I'm gonna reward in the tub. So um, you might have to fiddle around with the placement of your tub um, lengthways or you know depending on on your actual dog um, so that that's something that you'll just have to watch and uh, fiddle with yourself so I'm going to shape it um, I'm going to just sit and wait for Harry to do what he's going to do um, actually I might stabilize that with my legs there so I've got um, you know, a lot of patience when it does come to uh, dog training. And I think that is what actually allows me to get, uh, you know, some of the tricks that I've been able to do. Um, and when it comes to working on a, a lower paced activity like body awareness, you need to be really patient because you don't want them to rush. If they rush, they're actually going to hurt themselves. All right. Harry, you ready? Go get that. Now use your, yes, good boy, reward in the tub. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Throw him out. I'm gonna position the tub slightly differently because he's coming from the side here. boy yes good boy jackpot in the tub good job buddy good boy good job all right send them out again now because he got all four in we're going to see if we can get that, so we're just going to have to wait it out. Yes, good boy! Because once we get that high criteria, go get it. you don't want to go backwards. Good boy, Harry. Yes, good job! get it okay now comes the hard bit we're actually going to change our tub see that we're going to a smaller tub so the idea of changing side is part of our proprioception good boy good job yes good boy job yes good good boy yes good boy throw him out yes good boy Harry. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm not going to go any smaller uh, on this with Harry. He needs to 
do this for a little while. But what I'm going to do, I'm um, swap dogs. Yes, good job. Yes. So I'll swap dogs and then we'll go down the next size in the tub. Okay, so we're going to work on uh, the smaller tub now with Bridie. So I'm just charging my clicker. Good girl. Good job. Good. Good job, girl. Go get it. Now I'm just going to be keep moving the tub just to help with her, her foot placement. Pause. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good. So we've just got to try and get this last one in. Good. Good job. Good. Push, push. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Good. That's it. Yes, good girl. Good job. Now I'm gonna move move it around. There you go, go get it. Just so you can see it a little bit better. Good girl. That's it. Megan. Good girl. Good. Good job. Good girl. Good. Good. Good job, girl. Ready? Go get it. <clears throat> so then being able to put all four paws into a container this small, um, is actually going to set you up for success when it comes to your footstool. There you go. Good. Good job. Ready? Go get it. Okay, so what we want to do now, we've got them going all four into the tub. We're going to turn our smallest one upside down. So we're going to start our proprioception with the paws on top of this. So once we have it this size, we can then go half it um, to the size of uh, PVC pipe with a little lid on the top. Um, I haven't got one made up at the moment. We'll have to make up a new one. But so this is the start of our uh, pedestal work for the footstool. Pause. Good. Good girl. Good. So a lot think that it would be easier to do the top here as opposed to getting the feet in the tub. It's actually the opposite. It's actually harder for them to get their paw placement on top of here than it is to get them inside. Ready? Good. Good girl. Yes. Up. Up. Good. Good girl, you can do it. One more leg, one more leg. Ready, ready, up. 
Good. Good. So I'm using my hand as a balance stabilizer for her. So it's not just using it as a lure. I'm just trying to uh, position her head into where I want it in order to keep her body balanced while trying to balance on this small pod. Good. Good job. Okay. One more. When we first started with Harry, we were on this big tub. Um, how many litres is it? It's a 16 litre tub. So we free shaped this. Righty drop, drop, good girl. We free shaped going into here. Um, once I knew he was 100% confident, we then swapped to this tub. Um, again, this is an 8.5 litre. This is an 8.5 drop, 8.5 litre tub. Um, now that took a little bit longer to um, shape, but again, it was quite simple. Um, I knew Harry wasn't ready to go to the smaller one, so I bought out Bridie. So we then went to this three litre tub. Um, as you saw with Bridie, it took a lot more uh, core strength and a lot more strain mentally for her to actually get her paws in here. So this one, you need to really take your time and position your hand to balance them. Um, because once they become offset, then it, it kind of, it doesn't ruin, but it sets you back a little bit. So help them out as much as you can. Uh, once we had that solid, I then turned it upside down. So this top here is the start of our foot store work. So being able to place their four paws on here with a nice collected body. So if you picture a cat going to stretch, they're really going to arc the top of their back up. That's what we want with their four paws on here. I don't want them to sit. Um, I want them to stand as much as possible because then they're going to be figuring out their feet a lot more than actually sitting. They're going to be better at balancing. Um, going into the sit and the sit pretty, that's a completely different story. But keep them standing. Um, once they're standing on this, then we can keep going smaller. And once we've got that small width, then that's when we start raising the height for our footstool. So proprioception, very, very important for all your body movements and body work for agility, fly ball, canine disc, rallyo, um, even showing. Uh, um, they're getting their brain to understand that their back legs are there, not that they just follow. We've got to teach them that. So getting them to lift them individually into the tub is what does that for you. Um, so once we have that, then we've got a whole range of skills that we can work on, given that they now know what their back legs are, um, that they can move them independently, hop in and out of that tub, hop on and off objects. Now, again, I said earlier in the videos that we want to do this slow. We don't want a hyperactive over-the-top dog while we're doing this. Um, I want them nice and calm, wagging their tail and happy, yes, that's perfectly fine, uh, but I don't want them jumping all over you to actually work. I want them controlled, because when the body is controlled, that's when it's understanding what it's doing. It's not just rushing itself. All right, so proprioception, using the different tubs, good girl, Brady, using the different tubs, um, and then going from the tub work to on top for pedestal to your footstool training. All right, have fun. Let me know if you need any help.